Okay, the easiest way to get logged into Centova is simply going to ProStreaming.net and use the login button. What's that? What that's going to take you to the client area, and we're going to log into our account. I already have my stuff saved, so I can log right in. We go to our services. and then you'll see your list of services pop up if you have multiple services they will um, all pop up I'm going to go to my active um, PSN Shoutcast Gold with Auto DJ that was my first month free account it says it's active and there's a little button down here called login to Centova so I tell it to log in look at there we are in Centova cast now you have to set this up. When um, you first log in to Centova, you go over here to Settings under Configuration. You're going to have to fill in all this information here. Um, the name of your, st your stream title, your email, um, that should already be filled in. Um, the company, your website, and then these are your passwords are here. You can unhide your passwords by clicking here or clicking here see that all right make sure your time zones correct now we go to auto DJ first time you log in your auto DJ is going to be disabled so we pull this drop down and we enable it all right and then we simply update and no, we don't want to save now if you'll notice on this side you got your auto DJ pops up where you can do your playlists and your media files so what you want to do is we're going to FTP our files, but we're going to go to Quick Links. And under Quick Links, if you scroll down, you'll see your FTP client connection information, which will give you the IP, the account name, username, and then you'll use your admin password in the FTP protocol. So let's, in the FTP client. So we can go back to Settings and under settings if you need your administrator password you can just get it here then you can just copy it and paste it uh, into into your FTP client um, once we get everything uploaded what we're gonna do your playlists are here okay and we're going to make these new playlists once we get our music uploaded um, we'll go ahead and change these to what we want but for right now, uh, we're going to take the time to go back and start an FTP and start getting our files uploaded. You see how simple that was? There's your overview and your playlist, your media, and your files. Once we get all this done, we get our playlist built, then we can hit start and our stream will be online.